bitch on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream Back out fresh on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream Hey everybody, it's Brie Hall aka Lahara here today and this video is going to be about how to find your hair porosity which was an essential part of getting my hair to waist length. Porosity is simply your hair's ability to absorb moisture and is broken down into three major categories, low, normal, and high porosity. Every strand of hair on your head has a cuticle. The cuticle looks almost like a bunch of shutters going down the hair strand and is there to protect your hair but it's also like the gatekeeper of your hair's moisture. In low porosity hair, the cuticle lay is extremely flat and tight around the hair strand. So an example, I'm going to show you my hair, which is low porosity. And as you can see under this microscope, I took some hair out of a hairbrush. You will see a little bit of product buildup, but also that my hair literally looks like a perfect string or strand, even as close as I could get to it. Those cuticles are laid very, very flat. Normal porosity, which is also referred to as medium porosity, is when the cuticle is slightly raised which allows moisture to enter the cuticle and remains in the core without escaping. In high porosity hair, the cuticle is extremely raised which makes it very easy for moisture to penetrate but also just as easy for it to exit, similar to the window theory. So according to research, what affects your hair's porosity? Well, when hair is porous, chemical treatments such as dyeing and straightening occur more rapidly. This is why when my hair was blonde and high porosity, my hair was able to absorb all these semi-permanent colors, but I was able to switch between colors every month or two because the colors didn't stay long either. And now that my hair is low porosity and super duper healthy, my hair takes a higher temperature to straighten. Now before I go any further with spilling facts to you all, I'm going to actually give you a porosity quiz. So even if you think you know your porosity, this may still be fun and informative to do. Now if your phone has a notes app and you don't have access to paper, that's fine. Or you can use a sheet of paper and split it into three columns like you see here. One being orange, one being blue, and one being green and then just separate them. If you're in your notes app, just label orange, blue, and green. This quiz will require you to think extremely critically about your own hair and your own experience. I know there's certain things that's really just trendy to say about natural hair, but really identify with what you go through. All answers will be color coded. So for each question, put a tally mark in the column of the color that best represents how you experience your hair. Question one, when waiting for my hair to air dry with product 100% from root to end forever, six plus hours, three hours or less, around four to six hours, pretty average, which one fits you best? All right, question two, when I get in the shower, my hair is wet after about a few minutes and it has lots of volume still even when it's soaking wet, pretty instant. Not much volume at all though. Somewhere in between, pretty average. Question three. When adding conditioner to my damp hair, it absorbs partially, but my hair has this white cast naturally. Immediately, but I need more, lots more. Absorbs well, pretty average. Absorption can also be measured by the color of your hair. Does your hair look like your natural hair color even with conditioner in it? Can you see your hair color through? Question number four. With cool water, I apply hair cream. When my hair is dry, my hair feels really greasy to the touch and kind of brittle like I didn't do anything. Eh, but I kind of need more. Or pretty good, and if I squeeze my hair, it's not oily. Everything absorbed pretty well. Question number five, you wash your hair with conditioner for a whole month. My hair looks kind of dull, not sure why. My hair loves me, I need more and more. No complaints. Question number six, you deep condition your hair without heat. It was a waste of time. It feels blah after rinsing. It worked out okay. I still need to deep condition some more. No complaints still, my hair feels pretty good. Question number seven. I noticed my hair can have natural shine whether it's coarse or silky. Can be a little dull, serums and oils kinda help. 
somewhere in the middle. Question number eight. Chemical coloring, heat tools, relaxers, perms, etc. all chemical processing. Heat is very rare for me. I may have a mild color in the dark range or none at all. And if your hair is naturally blonde, then one that just doesn't stray from your natural hair color too far. One or more of these things, quite often. Moderate heat, moderate color, or none. To get my hair bone straight, I need high heat above 370 degrees, four hours, and prayer. Moderate heat, but it feels and looks dry once it's done. Average heat, and it stretches pretty well for the blowout and the entire process. Question number 10. When it comes to breakage, my hair feels... When my hair is really healthy and moisturized, it's pretty strong. I can do buns, ponytails, all that. Won't experience too much breakage. Too much tension and snap, pop, my hair breaks so easy sometimes. Breakage is pretty average, not too much of any extreme though. Now question number 11, our final question. My hair feels dry after I moisturized it really well. Six plus days and protective styles work for me. They stay pretty moisturized. The next day, what on earth? I did so much and it's kind of just gone. Three-ish days, but it can be relative. All right, now you're finished. Tally up your points and look at which category you seem to fall the most into. If you fell into the green category, then you might just be low porosity. If you fell into the blue category, then you might just be high porosity. And if you fell into the orange, you are a lucky person and you are most likely normal porosity. If some of these questions weren't exact answers that you are 100% sure about, go back to these questions over the next few weeks or days, try some of these things, do personal experiments with your own hair, and then retake this quiz to see what comes of it. Now I'm gonna show you all some examples. Here's a video from back in the day when my hair was blonde and high porosity. This clip is after being in the shower for not any more than a minute. As you can see, the water has completely saturated my hair. My hair does not have a ton of volume at all. It almost looks like ramen noodles. And I have a full head of conditioner in right now. But you can clearly just see my hair color peeking right through all that conditioner because it absorbed instantly. Now here's my hair after only being in a t-shirt for a few minutes. My hair is over 50% dry. Now here's a clip I had to dig really, really hard for to find, but this is my hair at normal porosity because I had just dyed it a black the day before, so I barely put any product in, and as you can see, I got tons of definition, lots of shine, all that good stuff. Um, it wasn't really hard to do my hair. I noticed it was very manageable. So normal porosity is the goal, but now my hair is low porosity because it has not been touched in a really long time um, with dye and it's very much closed in the cuticle. If you watched my last wash day routine video, you'll notice that I had my hair under the water and literally threw my entire head of hair in the water, but it took a couple minutes and then shampoo and as you can see, the water is warm slash hot. And that's when you finally start seeing the water actually penetrating my hair and my hair is starting to like soften and get some length to it. But even with my hair soaking wet as it's low porosity, it still has much, much more volume to it than when my hair was very high porosity or even normal. That's why you could see so much conditioner residue in my last video thumbnail. All right, y'all, so if you really enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna do a more follow-up in-depth video on each porosity type, but I just hope this is helpful for you if you've been questioning what your porosity might be. Um, definitely take the quiz. I'm not a big fan of the cup method where you put your hair in water because there are just way too many things that can affect your results on that and not give you the most accurate read on what your hair is. So comment below what your hair porosity is after watching this video and what some of your favorite techniques and tips are. All right, y'all. Peace out and gang gang.